I'm happy to be with Matt Dole, who's a PLD specialist with Lighthouse Electric. Uh, Matt, how are you doing today? Great. How are you doing? I'm doing good. So for people who maybe aren't familiar, what is a PLD specialist? It's planning, layout, and design specialist. I'm a field electrician, an IBEW journeyman wireman for the last 10 years. Uh, I came out of the field into the office two years ago to develop standard workflows for laying out electrical work. Uh, the foundation of that we did in Bluebeam. So how in particular have you found that your job tasks have changed since you started working from home full time? We've been using virtual workflows for the last few years, but it really put a fine emphasis on accountability. So trusting people to manage their own work. Using virtual meetings became huge. Um, working through VPNs and private networks became an issue, um, bandwidth of people's private internet at home and what it could handle as far as working in 3D models and things like that for construction. So that all became to a head very, very quickly. The job site itself has had some issues with adjusting to the foreman on site, starting to work with a remote and, and needing to have more virtual communication as opposed to them communicating with a few key individuals that handle most of the virtual communication. In terms of using Bluebeam in review, have you noticed any sort of change in how folks are using Bluebeam or is it pretty much par for the course per usual as it was before people were mostly working remote? We're very heavy Bluebeam users as far as uh, Bluebeam Studio sessions and projects. So we already had a job project set up where we had shared files with some of our employees in Richmond and some of the JV um, people that we work with out of Florida. All of our QA, QC or outputs was done in Bluebeam session. So we would create sessions, QA, QC documents with people from three different states. Once everything was okay, we push it to the field in the project. What I have seen is more people using uh, the project and pushing files back and forth and requesting the use of sessions to review documents together. I've seen people that I never used to see using that workflow are now starting to get into it and ask questions. So it seems like it's being utilized uh, a little wider than our unique workflow that we had before. Do you foresee any of the adjustments that you or your colleagues have had to make? Do you see anything perhaps sticking, you know, once things sort of normalize a bit and folks are going back into the office and back on site again? I think that there's going to be more flexibility with upper management as far as people working remotely. So up until this point, at least from my experience, it's been a 40 hour work week or 40 hours plus in the construction industry. And there wasn't a lot of leniency as far as, hey, I'm gonna go home and work for a couple of days. There was always this fear that you weren't getting the productivity that you would whenever you can look over their shoulders while they're working. I can see um, less of a structured 40 hour work week in the office and, and, and more, more flexibility with employees being able to work remotely from home from, vacation if they want to start your vacation a day early and open your computer while you're there. As long as you're getting your work done, I, I think this really opened the door for that. Awesome. Well, Matt, thanks so much for joining us today. These insights I think will be really valuable for our viewers, so I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. I enjoyed it.